I want to talk about something we all have, I hope, <laughs> which is a heart. It is a bundle of miracles that's absolutely amazing. It looks something like that. This is a plastic one, so it won't drip or anything. But it's absolutely amazing. And let me just step you through a few of the little things about this heart that just screams at a loving creator God. If you look at any kind of anatomy lesson, you're always going to start on the right side of the heart. So the right side of the heart, can you see it's sort of blue here? Superior, inferior, vena cava is uh, the first set of miracles we'll look at. That's unoxygenated blood coming back to the heart. Dear friends, if you weren't put together this way, you'd have to stand on your head every little bit to re-equilibrate to get the blood back to your heart. But you don't have to do that because God created a system of veins and the veins are in close proximity to muscles. They have valves. You have a deep, a, a deep and a superficial system. And so whenever you move or you have muscle tone, we all have a certain amount of muscle tone just sitting there, you're constantly pushing blood back to the right side of the heart. So if you look at the heart, it's a push-pull mechanism. So it's pushing blood out, but it's helping you pull the, the blood back in. Friends, that is a, an amazing dynamic in engineering. Uh, Ted and I talk engineering every once in a while. This is absolutely mind-blowing, the way that that system works. But it gets even more amazing. So we've got the blood to the right side of the heart. I'll do a little heart surgery here. Look at that. Wasn't that easy? And so you can see in here, there's valves. So these valves are all about pressure dynamics and flow dynamics because you want to push, pull, but you need that flow to constantly be, constantly be 24 hours a day, seven days a week in the right direction because when blood uh, and valves fail, where does the blood go backwards? Always to the lungs. Always remember the lungs and the heart are partners in keeping you alive. So the first valve, we were on the right side of the heart. The first valve is uh, this tricuspid valve. And so if you look at the dynamic here, I'm going to make a Doppler sound here. That's the push-pull mechanism. But inside the heart, there's these valves that are perfectly timed. They're perfectly timed. In the old days, in the 50s, or coming into the 60s, when they would do a heart valve replacement, they clicked. I remember a patient that said, this valve seems to work great, I feel good, but can you take the noise away? <laughs> it said, sir, if it stops clicking, call <laughs> right away. <laughs> so the heart is this amazing thing that has this dynamic of push, pull, push, pull. Friends, if you sit on the edge of the bed in the morning and take your pulse, use two fingers, best way, thumb, not a good way. Check your pulse one minute, one minute. How many beats? Take that number of beats or squeezes, take that number times 60. That'd be 60 minutes, wouldn't it? So that's an hour. Take that number and take it times 24. It's 24 hours in a day. That's how many times, you'll be way over 7,000 based on whatever your resting pulse is. 7,000 and some perfectly, perfectly timed squeezes with perfectly placed valves working for you uh, in order to keep you alive for that particular day. Th th this is just screams at design, beautiful engineering, and a loving God, an uh, absolute loving God. So we've We've moved the tricuspid valve. We're going to the lungs. And so there's a pulmonary valve. Pulmonary means lungs. And the next health lecture, maybe we can look at the lungs because there's a gazillion miracles that occur there as well. So we've got it through the pulmonary valve into the lungs. We have this beautiful diffusion of oxygen, CO2, absolutely magnificent. Dear friends, make one little change in any one of these little components here and your life is miserable or possibly ends. So this, this just shows me the amazing gift that health really is, <laughs> that we must always seek 
to, to as, as a representative of Christ, look after our health and, and, and be a, a good steward of this miracle that he's given us. Let's come over to the left side of the heart. So we come back over here. You may have heard of this particular valve, the mitral valve. Statistically, if you look, the mitral valve is the more common one that gets replaced. Why does it get replaced? It prolapses. If the valve is prolapsing, it's not closing appropriately. And so what's that going to do? In a, in a pumping system, which is a closed system, it's going gonna, it's gonna to develop a backward flow. And remember, always remember, the backward flow is going to affect the lungs. And when the lungs begin to fill with fluid, where is it going to go? Well, it's just going to see gravity. Go to the ankles, and there you will have it, and that's called congestive heart failure, isn't it? Left side, mitral valve. And then there's a little, a little valve up in here, a, a very important valve, aortic valve. Everybody knows what their aorta is. There's a huge artery goes down here. The aorta... Is, is taking that to the kidneys and all the organs. So it's the major source of oxygenated blood. And so there you have the ebb and flow, valves working perfectly, the heart in synchronization, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000. We call that systole, don't we? Your blood pressure, systolic, diastolic, squeeze, relax, squeeze, relax. Every day to keep you alive. Now... Why do we talk about health? Marie has talked about it. I talked about it last uh, time I was in town. What you eat, why is that so important? Uh, it's particularly important for the heart. I don't know if you can see. Can you see the inside of this? It doesn't look right, does it? It's got fat in there. That's saturated fat. That's animal fat. That's that real haagen ice cream fat that kind of whole milk fat, dairy fat, dairy proteins, casein, highly inflammatory, that, that huge beef steak that in 1950 my mother used to tell me, that's a great steak there, that one. Look at that. It's got a lot of marbling. What was that? Fat, that's right. So what happens as the lifestyle begins to break down to this miraculous piece of equipment that we've been issued here, Every one of us got one, right? Everybody got one? Okay. Everybody's got one. This miraculous piece begins to break down. Now, Ted, here's another perfect, perfect bit of engineering, just real quick. The aorta, red, yes? Oxygenated, unoxygenated. So oxygenated blood, the aorta, right at the base, right and left coronary artery. Perfect place. Perfect place place, because every time in that 7,000 and some squeezes a day, it gives blood to the organs and takes something for itself. Something it gives, something it takes for itself. Because the Bible itself said, what's in the blood? What's in the blood? The life. The life is in the blood. What is the life? It's oxygen, friends. It's oxygen. Tissue will die if it cannot get oxygen. How are you going to get oxygenated blood through that? This is what killed my father. My, I was about nine years old. My, my father was a doctor, and uh, we, had been, we were going to visit. And uh, my father uh, took ill, and uh, he, he got worse and worse, and they called an ambulance. And the last I saw of my father, he kissed me on the cheek, and he said, Son, make it a better place. <laughs> Left coronary artery, totally clogged. He was a physician. They just didn't know that the way you eat has a lot to do with your destiny. The way you handle stress has a lot to do with your destiny. The way that you take your heart for a walk. Do you take your heart for a walk? The way that you handle physical, your physical being. Are you seeking to control your weight? and eat that that Marie talks about, I talk about so much, that whole food, more natural, low-fat, no-animal-fat kind of eating with exercise, pray without ceasing, those kinds of things. But this is what happens. It's called atherosclerosis. It's the destruction of the endothelial lining here. It is a huge problem in the United States today. I wouldn't never ask for a show of hands, but... 
If I did, many of us would, we've lost people that we love dearly. My mother died of heart disease. And um, so we've lost a lot of, of really good folks. And um, if you look at the big studies, I'll just throw out some names, Dr. Esselton, Dr. Ornish. You can look at an old friend um, at Loma Linda, um, the uh, Seventh-day Adventist study, very interesting. Dr. Ornish showed you can reverse this by putting people on that whole food, plant-based, I'm going to say it, vegan kind of eating, it begins to go away. Why is that? Because it's the natural diet that God planned for us. It is what he had in mind. We had other things in mind, and this is what we got. But what what happened to my father and what happened in the usual myocardial infarction? What's myo? Muscle. Cardiac muscle, heart muscle. Infarction, death of tissue. What happened is the clot formed, left coronary, that whole side of the heart broke down and he died. Uh, I never saw my father again. So, this is reversible. We can deal with it. God gave us a plan to deal with it. And it seems a shame not to. Let me just say a couple, a couple more things. How am I doing for time? Okay. The heart has its own electrical system. Now, my wife asks really great questions because she figures I need, <laughs> I need to keep practicing or I forget everything I know because I'm retired. But she said, why is your bicep different than your heart? Why can't you flex your heart? You say, am I flexing my heart? I don't think I can flex my heart. So the cardiac muscle, if you take a, a class called histology, the cardiac muscle is very specifically built with what's called intercalative discs. That's very different than the actin and myosin, myofilaments, that make up your skeletal muscle. Skeletal muscle is innervated, yes, from the spinal cord, motor end plates, send a signal, Calcium is released. This is another miracle, friends. Calcium is released. Those little filaments rotate. They hook up. And what do they do? They shorten. Well, when they shorten, what's hooked to them? What's, what's this? Yes. And so ligaments hook bones to bone and tendons proceed from muscles. So you have voluntary muscle. But this is involuntary. You have your own electrical system here, dear friends. It, it, this is a miracle, I'm telling you. Sinoatrial node sends a signal to the atrioventricular node down the bundle branches to the Purkinje fibers, and you get seven, 8,000 of those every day in perfect synchrony to do the things that you need to do. Go up those stairs, go down the stairs, run from the biting dog or whatever it is. And almost instantly... Through chemistry, you know, uh, 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 adrenaline, yes, causes that heart to go. So that's why your heart muscle is a very special, different muscle, and you can't flex it. <laughs> you can't get a cramp in it. <laughs> and that's why it, it is different than your striated skeletal muscle. So the electrical system is there, yes. The beautiful system of valve, all in perfect harmony and synchrony. Dear friends, for that to come from prim prim primordial ooze, singular cell, you would need trillions of exponent trillions <laughs> to, to, to ever even conceive that something so magnificent, so beautifully, perfectly engineered w w would just develop. And the wonderful thing, and I I'm going to close with this, the wonderful thing, is Jesus God who knelt down and, and built this, put it together. That's the same Jesus on that cross. It's the same guy. He died for you. Respect what we have here. Seek to be a good minister of health, a witness of health, that let your light shine through that health that others would see Jesus through you. God bless you, everyone. And thank you so much for letting me talk. Thank you.